up with you? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG video on my channel. In this video we are gonna take a time machine and go straight to the future. We're gonna have a sneak peek at of course our format. This is a, going to, this is a Sun and Moon uh, onwards format that we can agree upon and now Japan finally decided to follow that Sun and Moon onwards format in a tournament and uh, what do you know? 1,235 players, masters in the master division, uh, entered that tournament. So it was the Champions League in Tokyo, one of the biggest tournaments in town, and it's Sun and Moon onwards. And uh, why is this important? Well, our format is Sun and Moon onwards, and in Lost Thunder, we'll be getting a lot of these cards. So that means we all actually have a, an insight on what is going to be good, because they have been tested by a lot of uh, people from Japan. And uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of deck lists, because of course, Limitless TCG provided us with a deck uh, list. So as you can see, LimitlessTCG.com, definitely check that website out. If you're interested in proxies, deck lists, whatever it is, go check out that, that uh, yeah, website. It's one of the best in town, a non-official Pokemon website. I, I definitely recommend that. So as you can see, the first place winning list was Malamar with Giratina. Now we're going to go straight into the list because that looks very weird. We, of course, see here... NK Molomar 4-4 line we've already experienced it before. Forbidden Light Molomar. It's a very, very great card with, of course, the Psychic Recharge ability. What else do we see? We have the Tapu Koko flying, flipping everybody. You know, this is going to be a spread deck. Not only that, it also ran, of course, the new Giratina, which we'll be getting soon. This Giratina has Distortion Door once during our turn. If this card is in our discard pile, we can just put it on the bench and put uh, one damage counter on two of uh, uh, our opponent's Pokemon, so that can help with the damage uh, modifiers here and there, because we, of course, are going to run a, a spread deck in this type of list, because you know Shining Arceus is even in this list, and Shiny Arceus... It has uh, the ultimate arrow dealing 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So uh, and I, now you think, wow, four uh, cardless energies, how do we get there? Well, we try to get, of course, three Molomars out and then it's just uh, manual attachment and then three Psychic Recharge or rely on the double cardless energy, which is also in this deck. Another thing you should know, we have Lunala Prism Star. Lunala Prism Star can get, of course, those uh, energies uh, straightly from the discard to those Pokemon. So the thing we want to do here is just spread a ton of damage and then, of course, come out of nowhere with Necrozma, dealing 100 damage to every GX with the Black Ray GX. So this list was all about spreading damage and then finishing it off with Necrozma. There's also one Onyx deck in here. This Onyx uh, just has a uh, Land Crush for four Carlos energies, dealing 120 damage. This can one-shot Zora GX. So that is uh, the attack against Zora because Psychic type effectors usually don't do that well against Zoroark. Uh, some people run uh, Marshadow GX, but this guy decided to run Onyx. So uh, be careful for Onyx, that's a new card, and also Giratina is something we'll be getting soon. Other than that, it's pretty uh, yeah, self-explanatory. We have Cynthia, we'll have Lily, Guzma, Tate and Liza. The only thing that is weird here is two copies of TV Reporter. We already got that in the Celestial Storm set. Draw three cards and then discard one card from your hand. So uh, in this particular case, with uh, TV, TV reported, you just want to get that Giratina in the discard pile or Psychic Energy in the discard pile and you go from there. Another great new tag card actually is uh, the uh, Spell Tag. Four copies of that. Now you might think, oh, Field Blower is around. Don't care about that. Uh, the Spell Tag. If the Psychic Pokemon this card is attached to gets knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. This can also finish off a couple of Pokemon, so you spread damage, flying flip, flying flip, and then Black Ray GX, or maybe Shining Arceus with that uh, arrow attack, what was it called? Ultimate arrow. You just deal damage until all, almost everything is KO, you rely on Giratina to get those uh, other uh, last damage counters on there, and then if something uh, gets knocked out with Spell Attack, it could be a Lele, it could be a Giratina, it could be a Malamar, this is fantastic. So a spread deck on the number one position. So we have to be careful, we want some Onyxes in the future, we want Giratinas and Spell Attacks. Next up, Blacephalon with Naganadel. No, it's not Naganadel GX. This is a second place winning list. We have Blacephalon GX, four copies of that. We haven't reviewed it on the channel yet, but I just want to have a sneak peek into the future. You know how I am. Want to just uh, prepare yourself for uh, the most epic things that come out of Lost Thunder. So Blacephalon GX. Actually, a fun fact is that Blacephalon became first, uh, became uh, first in the uh, junior division, and the senior division, and second in the master division. So very, very solid. It could, some people claim to be uh, that this is one of the one, one of the best decks in format if it comes out. But how uh, is this deck even good? We have Burst Jacks. You can just discard one of your prize cards if it's an energy card. You can attach it. And Blacephalon Jacks is all about startling head. You may put as many fire energy from uh, your Pokemon into the Lost Zone. Uh, so basically, Magnezone Prime, but then for a basic Pokemon. Pokemon, it's amazing. So you can just put as many uh, energies, fire energies from uh, your Pokemon into the Lost Zone. For every one you uh, put in the Lost Zone, 50 damage. So how do we get energies into play? We have Naganadal GX. No, 
that's wrong. It's a major, it's just a one prize attacking Naganadal. This Naganadal is fantastic, as you can see it here. Naganadal, uh, Sun and Moon Age will be getting this card soon. Charge up once during your turn, you may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So, uh, Hits Attack is also uh, very interesting since you can uh, one shot Necrozma GX, you can one shot Boswell GX. So, kind of neat if you have a choice band equipped it. And uh, there is a choice band in here and also a beast energy. So, Naganadal can also be one of those attacks uh, that can come out of nowhere because if you have exactly three prize cards remaining, this attack deals 80 more damage, so turning poison can deal uh, 160 damage for three cards. Energy is very fine in my book. The deck runs a bazillion amount of energies, 16 fire energies, one beast energy. So the thing you want to do is put all those energies in the loss and get the one hit KOs. Because Blacephalon, believe it or not, can get those one hit KOs very quickly. There's one copy of Kiawe in here. You know it well. Tapu Lele Kiawe with Kiawe, you can get four energies immediately. And then after that, you just rely on just uh, one shot like everything while you just evolve Poipals to get energies back. And you just go in circles like that. It's fantastic. Also, Heat Factory Prism Star. Once uh, this guy's released, Fire Dax gets some more uh, consistency. Because once during each player's turn, that player may discard a fire energy from their hand to draw three cards. So it's kind of like Scorch Urge, but then better. It's a Prism Star card. It's fantastic. Fantastic. You want that? Older than that, all the cards we've seen in this list, uh, we already have, so we do only, only have to look forward to the entire Pokemon line and uh, this second place winning deck, Blacephalon with Naganadal. Uh, Naganadal also has 130 HP and has only a 1 retreat cost. Blacephalon only, uh, yeah, this has a 2 retreat cost, so you definitely want to, uh, if you cannot start using that starting head, definitely rely on Burst GX. That GX move is fantastic. You already take a prize card with that, so don't forget that. So, Blacephalon. Naganadel, also a deck we need to look forward to. We have, of course, the spread deck with Molomar. We already have that nowadays with Shine Lugia a little bit here and there, but this is going to be better. This is all about spread. The next is Blast Cephalon, Naganadel, and then Lycanroc GX with Boswell. Boswell Lycanroc has been dominating last season, but uh, this season around, we're gonna get a little Ninetales GX, and you do see a couple of Alola Ninetales GXs popping up in this uh, yeah, top 32. Because Alolan Ninetales, I don't know if you know it, but it's going to be a very great card in Lost Thunder. Once during your turn, when you evolve your Alolan Vulpix into Alolan Ninetales GX, you can just search your deck for two item cards, reveal them, and put them directly in the hand. This is insane. We're not gonna use, uh, yeah, you, you, this list also has unit energies. That means you can just uh, cover, of course, the fighting type energy requirement and fairy type. That means the Alolan Ninetales can even attack some dragons like Rayquaza, etc. So, uh, Silver wins 70 damage and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench. Pokemon kind of sniping, uh, going in synergy, of course, with Boswell Jax's Jet Punch. We have uh, Subliminate. Wow, how is that pronounced? Sublimination GX, okay. Uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it is knocked out. Why is this fantastic? Well, we have Blastiphalon GX, we have Boswell GX, we have uh, Stack Attack uh, GX and stuff like that. So a lot of uh, Ultra Beasts are still around and uh, this Alola Ninetales just has a GX move that can KO it. One hit KO, no doubt about that. Also Guardians Rising Vulpix is, is in here. Of course we are we're gonna have to rely on Beacon to get our setup here. Could be fantastic. Also, search about with Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill is in here. Three escape boards because Alolan Ninetales, yeah, has no, it's the Alolan Vulpix and the uh, Ruckruff has a, ha, only have one retreat cost, so you can just easily switch into your Boswell GX. And the thing that I found peculiar is that we don't see a baby Boswell in here. It's all about Boswell GX just dealing damage while using Jet Punch. Then you're gonna rely, of course, on your B strings. And how do you get your B strings, you ask? Well, Alolan Ninetales, you just evolve your Alolan Vulpix, get two B-Strings immediately when it's necessary, and boom, you get there. Also, Lizaya's in here, you can get your Diancy Prism Star, you can get your Beast Energy, and start swimming with Boswell Jacks. Very, very solid list indeed. Other than that, there's no new cards in here, as you see. Uh, from, of course, the trainer list, the trainer list, we already have access to everything of that. The only thing we're waiting for is, of course, Alolan Ninetales Jacks to make Boswell like a rock back to the top tables. Interesting, right? Next up is kind of weird. It is Sapta with Alolan Exeggutor. No, it's not Alolan Exeggutor GX. Are you kidding me? Yes, it is going to be Alolan Exeggutor with the Tropical Head Attack. Dealing 20 damage plus 20 more. Oh, actually, Tropical Shake. 20 damage plus 20 more for every type of basic energy in your discard pile. Every different type. So uh, in this list, we have one Fairy, one Fire, one Water, one Fighting, one... <laughs> a lot of uh, different types. So you can get those in the discard pile with Ultra Ball. With Sightseer, the new supporter we're looking forward to. Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Before drawing, you may discard as many cards in your hand as you like. I definitely like uh, sites here. It could also be called Tourist when it comes overseas, but that's a card we're looking forward to. We also see Shrine of Punishment, so uh, one prize attacking deck with Alolan Exeggutor, sniping a bunch of damage, no, not sniping, but dealing a bunch of damage while Shrine of Punishment kicks in. It's going to be great with Choice Ban and all that good stuff. We already know everything uh, in this deck list besides sites here. Very great supporter coming soon. And then, of course, it's going to be Trico, Groval, and Sapdown. 
Why is there a bunch of grow valves in here? Don't we rely on rare candy? Well, no, we have a grow valve uh, that has the Shunshane Grace. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for one grass Pokemon, reveal it and put it in your hand. So this can search out your Alolan Executor, this can search out your Sceptile. Uh, this is also gonna be a Sceptile that prevents Alolan Executor from being damaged by any Ultra Beast. Actually, every Pokemon that has a grass energy attached, so Blitzephal and Jax won't damage us, Boswell Jax won't damage us, Nagadadal Jax won't damage us, Psych Attack won't damage us, Duskman Necrozma Jax won't damage us, you get the point. This Sceptile, uh, actually this uh, Sceptile from of course, I think it's Grim, Celestial Storm, yeah, this is going to be very great because uh, Ultra Beasts are still around, they're kicking hard. Definitely in Japan. And there's also a one one line of Fomantis in here. Actually, Fomantis Laurentis, the promo one. Sunny Day, you know him well. Why is this in here? To that, get that extra 20 damage. So a loading executor can then deal 140 damage as a maximum with choice band. That's 170 with a Shrine of Punishment S180. So Blastephalon, KO. Rayquaza, KO. There's a lot of things going KO. Even uh, Taupu, Lele GX. Next up is uh, one uh, Ditto Prism Star, so that's why we can run uh, these ones off, like one uh, Full Mantis. Ditto Prism Star can evolve into every stage one. Very great, so you can just have that, bench it, bench it uh, and just uh, yeah, evolve into whatever you want. Uh, in a Laurentis and a Groval, it all depends on uh, your preference. Also a Lone Executor, so a bunch of stage ones in here. And of course, we also see one Sceptile GX. This gun has the Jungle Heal. Heal all damage from all of your Pokemon with a Grass Energy attached. Not only that, uh, this, it can also have Math Cut. Uh, match, yeah, Math Cut? I don't know how it's pronounced. And uh, discard a Special Energy attached to your opponent's active. Very great against, of course, Special Energy Reliant decks. Think about some sort of. It's the new Night March, which we're gonna talk about soon enough. We have Leaf Cyclone, and uh, yeah, that is very great. For two energies, 130, so that can also pack quite a bunch, but most, most importantly, you can discard special energies against those uh, special energy reliant decks. Yeah, that was a very, very fun list indeed. So a little executor, hang on to some copies of the Tropical uh, Shake attack, because you'll need them. Then of course, Ultra Necrozma Malamar. Don't think there's going to be some new things in there. Of course, like Sights here will be in there, I presume. Other than that, I don't know. We don't have the list just yet. Just uh, revisit uh, Limitless TCG if you want to learn more. Then Zorok Lycanroc, we are already familiar with Zorok Lycanroc, it tears up the format. New things are in here, it is the Deto Prism Star, of course it can evolve into Lycanroc, of course it can evolve into Zorok, depending on the situation. We have a new Rock Ruff as well with 70 HP with Rock Throw, that is uh, being included in here. And of course, you know him well, the one with Corner. Corner can be very disruptive for the opponent. Not only that, Deto Prism Star gives light, of course, to the 1-1 line of McCargo. You don't need to uh, add more Slugmas in here because this can also evolve into McCargo if need be. And there's also a Weevil in here, so 20 Pokemon. Not too many energies, but it has an answer to everything. We have Weevil dealing uh, damage depending on how many abilities the opponent has. We have McCargo getting stuff out. We have Lycanroc, so yeah, very great. Even the Baby Boswell here. Next up, all the energy counts, we know that. We have the unit energy, of course, it will provide the energies for Weevil and, of course, the Lycanroc, etc. And also with unit energy, this one can, you also can uh, rely on the Trickster GX. For the trainer lines, we see a lot of great things, but more importantly, Professor Allen's Lecture. Do you miss Bridget? Well, I bet you do. With Professor Allen's Lecture, you can search your deck for 3 Pokemon with 60 HP or less and then put them directly in the hand. That is a Rock Ruff, that is a Ditto Prism Star, that is a Zorua, whatever you want. So a very, very nice inclusion. Uh, only one copy though, so that is a very interesting. Four copies of Judge, wow! Very disruptive, four copies of Judge. I don't know what the inclusion is here. Maybe they're going to rely on trade of Zorowak and late game Judge. Four copies of Judge is crazy. Maybe they want uh, the opponent to dead draw because a lot of things need a lot of setup. So four copies of Judge, that is definitely interesting in this list. Other than that, what is new? We have Counter Gain. Do you want know? What, do you know what Counter Gain is? Uh, yeah, some people might know, other than others might, so I'm just gonna explain it here. As long as you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of the, the Pokemon this card is attached to cost one card's energy less. How is this fantastic? Well, you can just use Dangerous Rogue GX for a single energy. This also works for GX Pokemon, uh, besides like counter uh, things like you have, of course, counter energies doesn't work on GXs and stuff, so this one does work on GXs, it is confirmed here, so one energy for a Dangerous Rogue GX, count me in, so that's why Zorok like rock, hang on to that deck, it's going to get better soon. All right, next up, of course, another one of those lists, uh, Boswell with Alola Ninetales, probably four B-Strings, uh, three B-Strings, Custom Catcher. What else is new? Of course, Alola Ninetales, we reviewed that uh, just a minute ago. Lusamine Prism Star. You can only play this card if uh, your opponent has exactly three prize cards. Well, 
during your opponent's next turn, prepare all damage from your opponent's attacks done to your Ultra Beast. So you're invincible, and this deck relies on baby Buzzwalls, on Buzzwall Jack. So all of those Buzzwalls will become invincible for one turn. It is searchable with Tapu Lele. There's three copies of Tapu Lele in here. We have Custom Catcher. Very interesting card. Why is it in here? We have, of course, Oranguru to draw it out. But more importantly, we have Alola Ninetales. So as soon as you evolve into Alola Ninetales, you can just get those two custom catchers in your hand. And if you play two of them at the same time, you just have the regular catcher effect. Lysander, whatever you want to call it. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So screw Guzma. We just evolve into Alola Ninetales. Get that a regular catcher as an item card. Bang! We strike. If you, win, if you play one copy, you can just draw cards until you have three in the hand. Basically, instruct of or on Guru. Custom Catcher, very looking for. I'm looking forward to Custom Catcher a lot because it also works very well with the Zoroark builds. So that was all the new cards from this list. Moving forward, uh, we are also gonna have a Grand Bull list. This is gonna be crazy. If you don't know Grand Bull, trust me, I don't know what Grand Bull does either. So we're gonna go blind into this video. We have Grand Bull. It's a Sage 1, 130 HP, resistance to darkness. So even with a Kakui, Zora doesn't even one shot this guy. Fantastic already. It has the Pennyless attack, dealing 30 damage if you have no cards in your hand. This attack deals 130 damage more. So 160 for a single energy. Wow, amazing. So not only that, we're gonna have four snubble and we're gonna have, of course, the Ditto Prism Star to just have our bench set up. Of course, Makargo can uh, has a, a, a tight spot in this deck because of Ditto Prism Star. And then three Orangurus? Okay, I see what this is. Three Orangurus. Why all Oranguru? Because you don't want to rely on a draw supporter because otherwise you're just gonna just uh, have stuck with a bunch of cards in your hand. You cannot rely on the Grand Bull. So I don't think there's gonna be a lot of supporters in here besides. Yeah, we have Apricorn Maker getting, of course, some Nest Balls at the deck to get your Grand Balls off. We have Great Ball. So Great Ball is becoming better and better. We've seen this before at, of course, the Philadelphia Regionals. People playing Great Ball as well. We have Nest Ball. We have Dianta. If you don't know what Dianta is, a Forbidden Light card, I think. Uh, if one of your fairies gets knocked out, you get two cards from your discard back. Basically, double puzzle. Oh, yeah. You remember those days. Okay, so no draw supporters. I don't think. Yeah, no Cynthia's at all. You just rely on Oron Guru. Get as yeah, as less cards in the hand as you want. If you have zero cards, bang! Grand Bull strikes for a bazillion amount of damage. Is there? Yeah. There is, of course, Shrine of Punishment in this list. We have Body Building Dumbbells to add the HP up. Choice Band for more damage output. Energy Recycle System to get those Fairy Energies. There's only 7 Fairy Energies in there, which will last you through the game because, of course, that Energy Recycle System. Mysterious Treasure for, of course, to discard your hand, I think. We have 4 Ultra Ball to discard your hand. Mysterious Treasure, and you can just search nothing. Is that so? That is crazy. It's just a mysterious treasure to just thin out your hand. What else might be new? Uh, I think that's it. Four rescue treasures. So you just want to thin out your deck, your hand. If your hand is empty completely, you can just strike with Gramble. And with things like Makargo, you can just put the Ultra Ball on top, draw it with Oranguru, use the Ultra Ball, boom, your hand is empty. Cool. Don't search for anything. Maybe a Pokemon, bench it down, evolve it, whatever. So uh, dealing a bunch of damage with a Gramble that deals 160 damage for one energy. That's how this deck was good. So. Be on the horizon, look on the horizon for some Grambles, they're good. Then Zoroark, Alola Ninetales. Alola Ninetales, the fairy type, is a ridiculously good, so that's why it's in here. We have one copy, a 1-1 one, one line of Lycan Rock. Of course, 1-1 one, one line of Stage 1s are going to become a little bit more popular because of the Dead of Prism Star, which you explained yeah, uh, a lot throughout this video. We have Alola Ninetales, of course, the two, two lines seem to be standard here. Um, Again, with that unit energy, you can destroy every Ultra Beast inside with the Jax move of Alola Ninetales or rely on Trickster Jax of Zora Jax. Both require two attachments. What do we see that is new? Uh, uh, no, nothing at all. Ha! <laughs> Counter gain, we already explained that. So, uh, of course, the Dangerous Rogue is ac accessible with one energy. Of course, not only that, you can just one shot Ultra Beast with one attachment of Sublimination GX. Oh, I love it already. And also, not to mention, you can just use Righteous Beating for a simple, simple unit energy. That could also work. Counter gain, you have to be, you have, you can only use this if you're behind in prize cards. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you have more prize cards remaining than the opponent, of course. Energy low, getting of course that uh, double card energy early game to smack some damage, and uh, you know the drill. Righteous beating, righteous beating. Finish it off with, of course, a, a dangerous rogue, and or maybe uh, even the GX move or or all the nine tails GX. Very, very solid indeed. All the nine tails. Definitely gonna be an uh, expensive card. I expect all the nine tails GX rainbow rare to be one of the most expensive cards from the new set and a Blacephalon GX as well. Those are the two GXs from Lost Thunder we're looking forward to the most. Then uh, Zoroark Buzzwall, what? We have Zoroark, 4-4 four, four line, Buzzwall GX. They're pairing Buzzwall with Zoroark. How crazy is that? 
the two Prism Star, Lycanroc. So basically, Boswell Lycanroc with the addition of uh, Boswell GX and of course, two B-String and some Pyag Energies. Okay, I, I get the point. I see where the opponent, or actually the player, was going with the strategy. Make a Boswell a Lycanroc list and then add in Zoroark for some consistency purposes. Kukuya in here, Beast Energy, etc. No new cards to explain here. Cool. Uh, what else might we possibly see here? Uh, we have... Another one of those Zoroark, Lycanroc, Weavell list, of course, unit energy. Definitely get yourself on some unit energies. Those, that will be the best unit energy for a long time. So we have Marshadow. You, you know Marshadow, very annoying. Let loose, boom! The, uh, both players have four cards back again. Basically like a judge and an ability. Tapu Koko spreading damage, Forbidden Light, uh, Boswell, again, Deto Prism Star. Deto Prism Star, plus Cephalon Jax and a little Nightless Jax are the cards we're looking forward to most from Lost Thunder. Where is Zero Aura? No Zero Aura to be found. We have Weavile, the punishing everybody that has an ability. Of course, a little Nine Plus Jax has an ability. We have uh, other things that have an ability, like Zoroark. There's a lot of things that have an ability. So Weavile, very, very great card. Definitely get your a uh, couple of copies for, uh, before it uh, gets uh, increased in price. Uh, Alms Lecture, again, this is the strategy I like most. Three copies of Professor Alms Lecture. We'll make sure you have that first turn opening. Professor Alms Lecture, like Bridget all the way back. We have uh, our, where are the Tapu Lilies? Yeah, two copies of Tapu to get that out, of course. We have Judge. The other list are around like four Judges. I, I think that was crazy. Ace Rolla, Counter Gain. So, the thing we can notice here, Counter Gain, Lycanroc GX is going to be one of the best combos in town. Not only that, uh, Counter Gain works hand-in-hand -in -hand with Alola Nineties. It's not in this list, but uh, just to let you guys know, Counter Gain is going to be great. Definitely, uh, because it's going to be uh, one-hit KO potential for your Alola Nineties GX and Lycanroc GX. Other than that, we already seen all the cards of this. We have them in the set. Moving forward, Macargo. A pure Macargo list. We have Macargo GX. If you don't know what Macargo GX is, Crash Change. Once during your turn, you may discard the top card of your deck. If it's a basic energy, attach it to one of your Pokemon that you that you like. So, Energy Acceleration, Lava Flow, 50 damage. Discard any amount of basic energy at, uh, from this Pokemon. This attack deals 50 more damage for each energy discarded that way. Similar like uh, Blacephalon GX, but you don't put them in the discard pile. Yeah, you don't put them in the lost, so you put them in the discard pile. And then Mag Burn GX, discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck. <laughs> wow, for one energy, you can just deck the opponent out if they're just playing too aggressively. Victini Prism Star, we already have access to that in the Dragon Majesty stat. Uh, uh, the, the more fire energies in the discard, the more damage we deal with this one price attacking. Yeah, 20 damage for every energy in your discard pile. Very amazing. Ditto Prism Star again, because of course, there's also gonna be two Macargo with Smooth Over. Smooth Over, put the fire energy on top, use the ability of Macargo GX, get the energy, energy acceleration at its best. Bang, that's how Macargo swings in hard. Also, Water Weakness, we don't see a lot of water in the format at all, so very, very great weakness. Uh, yeah, in the, near, in the near future, we have things like Cynthia, Kukui, everything we know um, of this list. Rescue Stretcher, Energy Recycle System, Field Blower, Switch, Escape Rope, Heat Factor. Okay, of course, I should have realized the Prism Star for the Fire Types. Consistency, uh, the Heat Factory Prism Star is going to become one of those huge cards. We already have a big idea of what to expect in Lost Thunder. Uh, I think this video should be called How Lost Thunder Will Shake Up the Format. I think it's gonna, gonna be one of those titles. If I, if I pronounce it differently, whatever. Okay, we have the Sijuai making a comeback. Once again, it, it comes in the format, leaves the format, comes in the format, so uh, it's gonna be on the top tables. The Sijuai Alola Ninetales. With Beacon, you can get your puzzle pieces. With Alola Ninetales, you can get your rare candy, so I do love the strategy. Not only that, there's a Swampert in here. One, zero, one line of Swampert. Why is that? Well, if you just have a Mudkip out with Alola Ninetales, who get your rare candy? Candy, get your Ultra Ball, get your or Swampert, and then you just draw into your pu puzzle pieces fantastically. Super Boost Energy finally makes top play. Uh, super Boost Energy, if you have three of uh, the uh, Stage 2s in play, this counts as four energies at the same time. That means Swampert can just pack quite the punch with Hydro Pump. You know him well. Then, the mystery of all, why is there one copy of Larvitar in here? If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters, oh yeah, I, can, I see the strategy. This attack deals 70 more damage. So this little Larvitar can deal 80 damage for a DCE with a choice band. One hit KO on Zoroark Jack. So everybody's looking like for a, a Zoroark counter. We ha we saw that Onyx before. Now Larvitar shows up and it's also searchable with Professor Alms Lecture. So I definitely love the inclusion of that. And because if you snipe a lot, you can just use Larvitar just if it has a bunch of damage counters on it. If your opponent's Pokemon, yeah, you can just one shot. You don't even need choice band if they have that many damage counters on them. Fantastic, right? Okay. I don't think there's a choice band in here. Yeah, there's one copy of choice band in here. One, oh, at least one of support uh, item cards because, of course, a little Ninetales gets them out. Switch, counter catcher. That is from the Crimson Invasion set. Counter everything, uh, just drag everything you want in the active position. 
It's something definitely like with the custom catchers. Uh, 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 what else is new? Counter gain, we've seen it before. Counter gain, a little Night Jacks Jax is going to be definitely a thing. That we can know from now. We have all the things, fairy energies, grad energies. Okay. Decidueye and Little Nightales. I'm loving it already. I'm gonna get my Decidueyes out of the dirt because uh, this Decidueye can become great because another Decidueye Zoroark list is also making its way here. Max Stack Attack and Naganadel. We saw this before, made a bunch of videos about it. We have Poipol, we have uh, the, the new Poipol with the eye opener to look at your prize cards. We have Naganadel, the one I talked about before with Blacephalon GX. But this is going to be the GX base version. Yeah, Naganadel GX. This is the wrong set though, this should be Forbidden Light, same for the Koi Pole, just a little correction here, Limitless, fix that if you can, thanks. <laughs> uh, next up we have Duskmane, sniping a bunch of damage, is the promo card, it can be a little bit of expensive if you don't have one already, because you just uh, have of course a strategy that we're used to, uh, of course with the Duskmane, with the stack attack is for extra buff, and just need one energy to, do it, to attack, and then a bunch of max potions I presume? 3 Acerola, I don't see max potion. I see Ultra Space, Choice, Banfield, Blower, Rescue Stretcher, Nest Balls, B Strings, 4 B Strings. Okay, now you want to set up your Pokemon. Okay, I can understand that. Not only that, there's a Chuckle in here. Chuckle can attack for Kara's energy, so it can uh, find its way in this deck. You can just paralyze the opponent's Pokemon. Have a little bit of stall mechanic here because it also cannot be damaged if the opponent has two or uh, less energies attached. So Zora cannot touch just while you set up, and if you're set up, bam, you strike out of nowhere. It can also be annoying to just to paralyze the opponent or just to poison them. I don't see any uh, max potion, so it's going to be pure on Acerola and also not the uh, Lusamine Prism Star. All the rest of the cards we already know. Okay, Nagadal Stack Attack out. Nice to see that doing well. Another one of those Molomar Giratina lists. Let's see if they run something differently than we are used to. Mimikyu, of course, is a striker. Also, one of those huge cards we're looking forward to. You can once during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. Easy way to get your psychic energies in the discard or to get your Giratinas in the discard. There's three of them in there, and then you just try, snipe around. We have uh, the Necrozma Jax, you know him well. Uh, the Black Ray Jax, we have what else do we have? Necrozma Jax and Giratina. Maybe they're relying pure on Giratina, 130 damage while well, you just snipe a bunch of stuff. Or with Shrine of Punishment as well, okay. Shrine of Punishment Giratina is gonna be a thing. With spell tax and more damage counter. Okay, I see where the damage comes from. Interesting. Different, a little bit different than the first place winning list. Next up. Oh, I want to see this Jump Live Natu list. Unfortunately, it's not uh, yet up on the channel, but this Jump Live Natu reminds us, of course, on the uh, Lost March deck, uh, actually Night March deck, <laughs> that uh, is an expanded. It has the same mechanic here for every one of those Pokemon in the Lost, and you deal more damage for like one attachment. Very great. I love to see the deck list later on. Next, another spread deck, but then with the Hunch Crow. Hunch Road is more damage, if there's more, a lot of damage around, I think is going to be spreading damage and then Raven's Claw. We already seen all the cards in this list, I think are legal. Shrine of Punishment, Skateboard, Choice Band, Energy Loader, Rescue Stretcher, Ultra Balls, Nest Ball. Yeah, you can make this deck right now if you want to. Hunch Crow, Weavile, Tapu Koko. If you want, make this deck list. It's already legal for tournament play. Try it out for yourself. If it does well in Japan, maybe it can do uh, well in Europe as well and uh, the United States. Ultra Ball, Ultra Molomar, we have Lacephalon, Nagradel, Zorog, Decidueye. So Decidueye popping up three times in the top 32. I love the variety, I love the variety so much. Another Zorog, Weavile list. Larvitar is gonna be not in here, unfortunately. We have, of course, the Ruckruff. I love that inclusion of the Larvitar with DC, I love that so much. But this one doesn't snipe around damage, it's going to be Zoroark with Weavile, just as we know him. Not the Weavile from Burning Shadows, but the one with Evil Admonition. More damage depending on the abilities. Little Prism Star has an ability, so we have to be careful not to have too many abilities. All the rest is uh, pretty tacked out. We have Coco to spread damage, Forbidden Light, Boswell, OP. And then of course, Devoured Field, Choice Band, Counter Catcher, Field Blower, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, all these cards we already know Be besides, yeah, we have, yeah, all these cards we have. I think besides the Ditto Prism Star, so Weavile is gonna see a lot of play because a lot of Pokemon use abilities like Alola Nightus, for example. Then some more Zoroark, like an Rock shenanigans, Ditto Prism Star, is it in here? Nope. This guy said, screw Ditto Prism Star, I'm gonna play Deoxys instead. Deoxys shuts down, or she one shots Boswell G Axis. What else is in this list that we haven't seen? Counter Gain, of course. Counter Gain, like a Rock, Counter Gain, a little Nightels. It's the perfect combo. That's just getting a lot of knowledge to your brain, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what you think about all these lists, man. Then, uh, another one of the Zoroark, like a Rock decks. This one does run Ditto Prism Star, one, one line of whatever. It also has this, uh, this like a Rock with Dangerous Rogue, Dangerous Claws, yeah, to just get rid of Hoopas, I guess, or something like that. 
Uh, it also hits for weakness against the Flying Flip Tapu Coco. Don't forget that. Weavile, whatever is in here. Field Door, Body Building Dumbbells, Counter Gain. So everything we already have in our format. Just have to be, you already know what you want. You want your Professor Alms Lecture. You want your uh, Zip Striker. You want your Ditto Prism Star, Blacephalon GX. Your new Naga Nadal GXs. Or uh, your Naga Nadal. Yeah, one prize attacker, you want your counter gain, you want, yeah, I already explained a lot of things you want in this deck. You even want Sightseer, a lot of things to look forward to. You want your uh, Heat Factory Prism Star, and then uh, this is the last list that we're going to look at. Is it going to be Macargo, Ditto Prism Star, Chuckle to just stall. Sigalif, hello Sigalif, Mirror Counter. If this is your active Pokemon, gets damaged by an attack of your opponent's EX, GX, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it has to hit EX or GX. Put damage counters on the same, uh, uh, yeah of the same amount of damage did to this Pokemon. So it's basically like a mirror. If they attack you, they get the same amount of damage. Let's say they use Dangerous Rogue on you, well, they get uh, damage yourself. Aha! Uh -huh. you, you might even get KO'd, but it doesn't even matter if you can get the damage on the opponent as well. I do think it, it also works if you're KO'd. This Pokemon is the actual gets damage by an opponent's attack, even as this Pokemon is knocked out. I think this is going to be the English pronunciation for that ability. Trash Alange! Hello Trash Alange! Everybody's relying on items and Alolan Nighter, so no wonder Trash Alange is also in here. And for the yeah, spell attack on the trash lines, it's kind of fun to spread some damage and just set up KOs for uh, the Righteous Beating later. Two choice band, max potion, all the rest were pretty familiar too. But of course, Professor Elm's lecture. And that's it for another video on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the insightfulness of, of course, the new format with Lost Thunder. And this is going to be fantastic if we get all those cards. What deck are you gonna make first? Are you gonna be one of those Granbull players? Are you just gonna use Blacephalon because it looks so cool? It's a clown, Ultra Beast, whatever. Or are you just gonna be one of those spread decks with Giratina? Are you, or do you want a Rainbow Rare Alola Ninetales Jax in your deck because it's so shiny? Let me know in the comment section what you think about the uh, format once Lost Thunder has kicked in. The Japanese player enjoyed, uh, yeah, enjoyed himself. Maybe you're also gonna try out a little like Zagazar with Saptal. So as you see, a ton of variety. So I have, I have a lot of people say, wow, the format is uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, monotone where everybody plays the same deck and there's only a top tier deck. Nothing more is true. We have how many different types of deck? We have Mala Marsh Pep, Blastifalon, Boswell Alola Ninetales, Saptal decks, Ultra Necrozma decks, Zoroark Lycanroc decks, we have Grand Pool of Oak decks, we have Weavile Zoroark, we have Decidueye Alola Ninetales, we have Macargo, we have uh, yeah the, the new Nightmares deck with Jumpliff and Natu, we have uh, the uh, Tapu Koko Honchko deck for some particular reason that we can already make. So 12 decks in the top 32. That is what I call a healthy format. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and the list that Limitless TCG provided for us. So a uh, uh, big shout out to them. They are doing a fantastic job. Hopefully they uh, can keep on going at it and add in the rest of the deck list if they can. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. Give this video a like if this was insightful or helpful for you. So you guys get a knowledge of what to expect in Lost Thunder. And I will see you guys tomorrow with our Pokemon TCG video. Stay fresh, guys and have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.